A lavish encounter with a bolus Volterra luxury travel trailer. We rounded the corner and there it was. Behold, the bolus Volterra in all its polished glory beckoned us, lowly us, for a one night stay. We politely obliged and settled in for the night, trying to act like staying in a $310,000 luxury travel trailer was normal, perfectly normal. We promptly excused ourselves to go buy some lotto tickets, promising that if we won the jackpot, the first thing we would buy was a Bolus Volterra. We meant it. The Bolus Road Chief Volterra travel trailer is all electric, combining retro looks with state of the art technology. It has an induction cooktop, Starlink high speed satellite internet, a hydronic heating system, an aero solar setup, 17 kilowatt hours of lithium batteries, a 3000 W inverter, over the air monitoring, a backup camera, and much more. Unlike the Airstream and other travel trailers, the Bolus has a front door. Literally. The aluminum door, a marvel in itself and complete with a house like doorknob, is located at the front of the trailer instead of the side. Therefore, the tongue serves as a porch area. It's quite fascinating. Whereas the standard travel trailer literally resembles a box on wheels, the bolus doesn't have those stark, perpendicular edges that make for simple construction. Like a purposely designed airplane fuselage, it's smooth and curvy in all the right places, which is fitting, considering original designer Holly Bolas was involved in building the infamous Spirit of St. Louis aircraft. Like the shape of a falling raindrop, the bowls exude aerodynamics. You can't help but marvel at the streamline, futuristically retro shape of the original aluminum riveted travel trailer. Yes, it predates the Airstream by just a little bit, speaking of rivets, the aircraft-grade aluminum shell of a Bolus has over 5,000 rivets. As indicated by the outside, the inside feels like you're in an airplane, minus any overhead luggage compartments. Combined with the small, overhead ceiling vents every few feet, it reminds us of a submarine, if we're going by Disneyland experience, since, you know, most of us actually aren't real familiar with submarine interiors. Anyway, it feels like you're in a round two. From the inside, you can really appreciate that all elements have to adhere to this roundness, the glass and the wood paneling, for example, share in the curvature. Even the most artistically impaired can attest that curves are harder to deal with than straight lines. In shape and appearance, the tapered rear feels like you're in an upscale yet upside down canoe, again, as if any of us actually know what it's like to be in a capsized canoe. But rather than frantically treading water and gathering courage to exit the beautifully sculpted canoe, you're content. This is the sleeping quarters, after all.